child doesn't have a clear picture of himself, but um, more sees himself through the mirror of evaluation that his parents have of him. Sees himself and how his parents see him. And we were raised not only from, from our parents, but grandparents seeing ourselves in light of what God is going to do in our lives and wanting to seek that out for all that it means. That kind of became a dream at a young age and to kind of follow in their footsteps and what they set before us. And uh, it's kind of a cool thing. Our grandpa is uh, 85 years old and Chris and I have been, has been a huge influence in our lives and has really taught us and modeled for us what it means to be a worship leader. I think that's really where we got our start and what it looks like to lead worship and for, for people that really need hope. And uh, my parents along with my grandfather, started a band, a southern gospel band called the McClurk Family Singers. And so, you know, we decided that when it was time to change our name, that we would like, we, we thought this would be a cool way to sort of carry on the legacy of what the McClurk family has been doing for, in our case, three generations. And, um, we're excited to sort of continue the legacy that my grandfather and my parents and my aunts and uncles and you know, many people outside of our family have, that have helped us along the way that uh, to pay tribute to them. Now us and our friends are kind of continuing on that legacy and living that dream out. What God started through them and hopefully it's something that we can continue to pass on. So it definitely has a very, uh, what's the word, very indigenous, very kind of homegrown, grassroots way of, of seeing things, you know. And that's not just, that's not just uh, for the guy, for my brother and I, but that's for everybody in the band as people in their lives that have set that forth, set that into motion, a dream. And now they're, they're seeking it out and they're living it. And, uh, it's a dream that's become their own as well. Alive, alive in